welcome to my Boober service. Need a ride? Let me see who here on the roster. Yes! Hey, boy! Hey, Madison! Hey, boy! Hi! I hope I ain't got none of that brown lipstick on you just oh, yet. I don't mind. I'll get your Not feet yet. all over my face. Not yet. Beautiful. Baby! Thanks for picking me up! Listen, thank you for calling my boober service, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that, that name really stuck, huh? Boober service. Coined by Michelle Visage yes, herself. She did say that. The Boober service. A mother yes. marketing genius. She is, and I love Michelle for I love Michelle Dow. Now you you're in the car and you're I, tall and we I have know. to adjust the seat. I know. I just gotta pump it down. Pump it down. Pump pump it down. Oh, I think it's pumping it up right now. Oh, don't, pump, <laughs> don't pump it down. You're this so is good though. You're so tall. How tall are you? I'm six four. How tall are you? I'm five foot six and a half. Oh, good yeah, things little, come in small packages. Yes, little big things, honey. <laughs> yes, I'm sure Don't you're familiar. Me go I'm sure you're familiar with some of the things. Intimately familiar <laughs> with some of the things. <laughs> Jeffrey, 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 <laughs> Jeffrey. So where are we going? Where am I taking you, baby? Um, I'm I'm thirsty right now, Mom. Oh, you're just story thirsty? of my life. Uh, do, well, you, do you want some? I could go for a little caffeine boost right now. I don't feel like I'm quite energetic with enough. With vodka? Yeah, with vodka. Okay. Yeah, I think Starbucks serves that. Oh. You want to go hit up Starbucks? Yes, go to Starbucks. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. So, Jeffrey, why are you so nice? <laughs> <laughs> um. Why am I so nice? I love that question. Um, I love myself. Mm -hmm. I love life. Um, I celebrate myself. I celebrate life. Um, I feel like when you practice self-care and self-love, it just spills out and you can't help but be nice. Be kind and be nice. Doesn't it feel good? It, it feels so much nicer well, I'm a to nice be bitch. nice. I'm a nice person too, but you I know, know you I do cuss a lot, so. Yeah. But that don't well, mean you, I'm not nice. You know what though? You know what we have in common? Tell me. We're both, we're both <laughs> Libra! <laughs> Libra you and me. I'm Libra, you I'm mean a adore, Libra. you mean adore Delano or you all Libras? Adore. Kim Kardashian, oh. Judge, Judge Judy. Kim Kardashian is she's October 21st. So am I. You're I'm the 22nd. 22nd. I know this girl. Cause so we are on the cusp of Libra and, and Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpico. Yes, which means that we can be very balanced and kind and loving and creative, but then but we can also we have sting. The, we have some of the best sex. Yes, we do. <laughs> The, We're sexually fluid. I'm very sex positive, that's for sure. I have no shame around talking about it, about you don't? doing it. No. Oh, well, since We're you're all only since human. You're, since you're sex positive, <laughs> what a top or bottom? Uh, verse. All the best things in life are versatile. I'm yeah. a Libra. Balance. Listen, right, right. right. Listen, I've, I've I've likened myself to a mattress. Yeah, I work I like on that. both sides. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Laganja Astranja from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. And you can catch me at RuPaul's Drag Con 2018, May 11th, 12th, and 13th. Come on by and say hi. For tickets, go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com. So you're dating Andrew. Yeah, my partner is Andrew. We've been together for about two and a half years. So do you, okay, so do you guys use the term husband with each other? Like, you no. see, like if you introduce him to me, you'd say, this is my husband. No, I'd say this is my partner, Andrew. This is my boyfriend, Andrew. This is my love, Andrew. You wouldn't use the term husband. No, we're not married. We both decided that marriage just isn't for us. And it's not necessarily even like, you know, the, um, uh, the you know, uh, subscribing to heteronormative standards and all of the stigmas around marriage. It really has nothing to do with that. I just feel like it's something that, that I have seen doesn't necessarily, it's a formula that doesn't necessarily work for me. It's one that I don't necessarily want to subscribe to. I feel like that um, two souls can come together and learn a lot from each other and evolve together and um, enjoy each other's company. You're just not trying to put that on no paper. No. I can wear a pretty ring, but I don't need to, yeah, I don't need to sign on the dotted line. Hmm, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I subscribe to love, not law. I was at a loss for words for that for a moment because, uh, you know, do you know, honestly, that's the way I feel about God. Oh, yes. yes. I, I yes. subscribe to God mm -hmm. and not religion. Mm -hmm. I, I, to, to, to the spirituality of God mm -hmm. and not the law of religion because, you know, religion has played a huge part in 
separating people. I agree. I mean, I am a practicing Buddhist, um, part oh, of part nom, of the Nam Myoho Renge. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, oh. my love. Oh. Yes. So, uh, part of the Buddhist faith and belief is that uh, you know we don't um, pray to an external God. God is within all of us. Mm. So, um, when you honor the God within yourself, you can't help but honor the God in everybody else. Oh my God, that is so interesting. Where Here we are at Starbucks. Wow. I, you know, I've never done the drive through at Starbucks You before. haven't? Never. Well, get ready. <laughs> get ready. Do I look good for the drive through at Starbucks? Oh, you're handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Hello. You. How are you, honey? Good, and you? Listen, I'm just learning how to become a Buddhist in the car with my friend here. <laughs> Nom myo ho renge kyo. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Okay, I would like to have a vente chai tea latte with heavy whipping cream, caramel syrup, and uh, cinnamon powder. You fancy. Cold on ice. I'm already hot enough, baby. I'm smoking hot. I'm a ho. May I please have a grande iced Americano with almond milk well, or I coconut know. milk or soy milk, whatever you got. Any of that nut milk. And I'd like to have an iced lemon pound cake, please. <laughs> you know how to get it done. <laughs> All right, we'll see yes, you, you shall. Thank you. That what? How much? Oh, 11.75, okay. Um, that was not your first time making that order, was it? Well, you know, if I don't know how to order anything else, it's that. Now, yeah. what is an Americano? What is that? Um, it's just straight up espresso and water. It's like, a, it's an iced coffee. I know, it's just, I like it, I like it simple. I'm a complicated being. I like to ingest simplicity. I like to ingest it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heavily ingest it, okay? So, who's your favorite queen from Drag Race? Oh, do I really have to narrow it down to yes. one? Queen, honey. Oh, Lord. You know how Rue got to do it every season. Okay. So you got to do it. I one queen. If I can only narrow it down to one, I have to say Alyssa Edwards. Oh, God, I love Alyssa. She's my everything. Oh, she I is, love Alyssa. She, well, she's Alyssa is extraordinary. She's extraordinary and she's so full of energy and mm -hmm. life and color. She's mm -hmm. full of that. Gee. Can I? Oh, oh no, baby, I got it. Listen, so you don't know nothing about this old oh, school no, stuff. I know you, everything about this. No, I just wish I wish I was wearing my wig today. Oh, this is my favorite, Madison. What would your drag name be? <laughs> Oh, oh that is such a good question. Yes. I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pass that on over to you and let you name me. Oh thank, thank you. you. We're gonna have to share thank a piece you. of that. Okay, I, absolutely. Glad. I know because I know you're out here in LA. Where are you originally from? I'm from Canada originally. Canada! Yes. Ooh. I was so I was I was adopted as a baby and raised in Canada. I, I actually just got back. I was just there visiting for like the first time in three years, the town that I So you were was adopted in. as a baby and you and you lived in Canada. Yeah, it was like a sick social experiment. I was raised in this tiny, tiny little farm town. I was the only person of color. There was no stoplights. There was one corner store and just, you know, just uh, just filled with with rednecks essentially. It was re in it was In Canada? Yeah. So I grew up in Alberta. It's in Western Canada. They call it the Texas of the North, but it's just very similar to Texas. It's like ranching, farming. Ooh, it's a big idea. I'm on my way. <laughs> Anywhere where there's a lot of ranching and farming and hunting, it's some big, big and big balls out there. And they I like would, them. They would love to meet you. They Madison. would, because they love me in Canada, because I've been to Canada where before. Where have you been? I've been to Montreal. Okay. And I, I hosted World Pride in Toronto. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay, uh, but cool. it was in 2014 or something like that. All right. All right. I, girl, a child, I've been around. I've been around. Yes, you have. Oh, this is mine. I know by the color. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you, love. much. Thank you. Bye. Be blessed. Have a good day. You know what? If you if the, if the spirit told you to give you give me one of those bananas, what would you tell the spirit? No, give me that long one right there. Oh, the longer the better. Oh. That one's leaking, Madison. Oh, it's leaking god. something. Oh my god! You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they are so They're squishy. They're squishy, though. <laughs> I'll open it and see later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, careful, girl. I'm sorry. Is that a Do banana you, between your legs? It is a banana between. Oh, I'm always happy to see you, Thank and you. it's a banana and something on top of that. <laughs>
So I gotta give you a drag name. You're so yeah, can tall. you please? I would love. I just hung popped uh, just out of sheer excitement. So you're please. so tall. Yeah. And so handsome. Oh, stop. And so full of love. And you're a Libra. Yeah. Ah, I got a name for you, Fagina. All right. F Fagina. F A. That's F A G I N A. Fagina. Fagina. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I am your drag competitor number three, Fagina. <laughs> I love that. I'll take it. Fagina. Yeah. Because it's vaginas are not real, real. They're. They're vaginas. <laughs> that is genius. Fuck. You, that is genius. Yes. I love that. Listen, so tell me what you're doing now. Ooh, now. okay. So I am on a television series called Unreal. Mm. We just finished our third season. Tell me about it. Tell me about Unreal. So it's uh, basically about behind the scenes of a dating competition show like The Bachelor. So I play a, a producer on a TV show like The Bachelor, and it follows five of us all creating insanity and chaos and drama and cattiness on uh, this reality show, pitting the contestants against each other, all of them trying to vie for love, filling their head with lies and tales and deceit and trickery. Oh my God, and... you need to, I need to be on that show. Yes, girl, yes you do. I need we, to start shooting, we start shooting season four in two weeks. I go back up to Vancouver to film it. I will come to Canada. I would love that. I Listen, would love, you could you could stir up the drama. I would come like and that. stir the drama up and yeah. be like, well, do you are you sure he's not getting <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing that, and then I'm doing the first season of my podcast. Yeah, as which I'm well. gonna come and you're do. gonna come to my podcast. I'm, do I'm your podcast. so blessed. Yes. Listen, I see you doing lots of things. You know, like let's I, talk about like manifestation. So I know that you. I believe in manifestation. As do I. I, do. I believe that I am where I am today, even including sitting here with you. Yeah, because you because, manifested because it. I manifested yeah. Out of it. Let me tell Absolutely. you something. I say that every time when I talk about RuPaul, mm -hmm. like I was a young, me too. young boy. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I was a boy at one time in life. <laughs> I was a young, yeah. I was a young boy, and I, I would see RuPaul on TV, and I, I, I didn't know. I said, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have an association with this person. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. I knew, you knew I it. Knew That's it. the difference. Not just thinking it or like, you know, wanting it, but I knowing it. it. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Just like I knew that I was gonna be a huge star. I didn't yes. know how. Yes. And, and, I'm, and I'm not even the biggest star that I would like to be, but yeah. I know that it's coming. I know it. I know it. Madison, I know you're it. well on your way. Oh, baby, I know it. This is it. so interesting because this is something that I struggle with. I love my job. I love what I do. I love the opportunities I have and the people I can get to interact with and the be able, being able to use my platform in a way that other young boys, when I was growing up, just didn't have reference for. Social they didn't have media access is great. to. It's wonderful. It's a gift and a curse. Absol but. Absolutely. But I am hesitant to to um, give myself away entirely to the public, and it's a weird mix where you're trying to be grateful be, for it. I want to. I want to work. Like me, that, me too, me too. but I just don't. I don't know if I want to be like, cause I'm that way. Like you, you were at DragCon. You saw I had a line yes. forever. Yes, and you're so gracious with all the fans. Well, because I love them. See, this is the yeah. problem with this is the problem with with a lot of celebrities. They forget yeah. that the people they fuel your star. Yes, and you have to love the people for fueling your star. Yes, you understand what I'm saying. You Absolutely. have to take time and and say thank you, oh, even nice. if it's a even if it's a post or it's a give back I need, or I, whatever. I need to hear this. You this have to lesson. always wrap your mm -hmm. arms around because mm -hmm. without those people, you wouldn't be a star. It's true. And you have to give. You have to say thank you. I really believe that we'll you, say, you, thank you. You thank you. <laughs> I really, Tatiana, thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe that you go far in life the more you think. I agree. Thank it is all about gratitude. I wake up every day and try, like, and, try to and transport myself to a state of gratitude. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, thank you. I, listen, when I get up and I ask the creator for things, I'd be like, I thank him, her, it first. Yes, yeah, me too. I absolutely. say thank you. Yes, absolutely. But can you give me $20? <laughs> 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 Jeffrey, hug my oh, neck. Oh, baby. Oh, I love you. Mm, thank you so much for the ride. This thank was you. so... It was good. This was exactly what I needed, You Madison. needed that. Thank I so needed it because I needed it just was... It was a, this soul boost, this caffeine boost. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. I love I'm gonna you. give you back your lemon pound cake. I will be taking that, man. Okay, I love, I love you, Madison. baby. Mwah. Mwah. Have a great day. You too. Bye, Bye baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love him. Hey, open that gate.
play. I know you're hungry.